So we've always had a love-hate relationship with our roosters. Oh no! Did he hurt you? Whether it was our mean old rooster copper uh -oh. attacking Uriah. Come on, buddy. Did he hurt you? Did he hurt you? Where'd he hit you? Did he hurt you? It's okay. The lavender Orpington rooster attacking Isaiah. Oh. Shammy being, well, <coughs> crazy. Or even our silver phoenix attacking Becky. Go away! We've got too many roosters on the farm, and it's just a disaster waiting to happen. So today, we'll try to address that. Hopefully, <laughs> these guys will leave us alone. Got him. Got him. What? What's going on with this tongue? <laughs> oh no! Gross. Oof. Sure feels like fall today. It's the first day of fall, but temperature just dropped from 96 to 60 in two days. We've got too many roosters, but first we're gonna go over to the pheasants. We've got to move some of them around. So we've been moving these pheasants here. So you can see where they're they've been each day. And now they're over here. We didn't intend to keep these pheasants here very long. These are the ones that we hatched out this year and we started selling them. We shipped out a few pairs the other day. So now we have some spots over in the quail barn to put four more. So a little dangerous getting them out. They could jump out of here pretty easily when I take the lift the top up. So see if we can get four of these guys out of here. These are the pheasants that we hatched this year. And so the males are just starting to identify themselves with some bright colors that are coming in. There's one. Bright orange. That's a male right there. Female, so it keeps this brown color all over. So we'll move him in. So no bright orange coloring on this one, so pretty sure we've got a female here. Here's our best male that we have right now. So you can see that coloring. Not fully what Blaze is, our male over in the pheasant coop, but we'll be fully colored next summer, but right now that's uh, definitely an indicator. Looks like you need some food, buddy. So our emus don't need a ton, but there's only three of them, so. We fill up these buckets. We got two for each house. Fill up these buckets maybe once every three days. Just some alfalfa pellets that are part of a rat tight feed. Right here. Hey, Bamboo. Yeah. What's going on, buddy? So welcome to our rooster yard. <laughs> I think it's kind of genius because roosters can be a problem. Oh. What do you do with them? You've either got to keep them and then allow the hens to get overbred, kill them, you butcher them, and that's fine, but a lot of ours are too small to even, it's not worth the time. Or you can give them away, but then they become somebody else's problems. This has become our turkey and rooster yard. We've got our three turkeys over here, and then we've got our all of our roosters, and we've been adding a bunch today. I think we just added seven in here. So we've got our four Indio Gigante roosters. We've got one over with them. We've got our Cochin Frizzle and Shammy, the Shammy Spitz Alvin over here. There's one guy, that's a new guy right there. So we have two of these Silky Frizzles that we hatched out. Three out of those four Silky Frizzles we hatched out are, we're all roosters, but one's just absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna keep him in there. And then look who we've got in here. All right, so we've got two mill floors. We've got the, like the Bard Rock Cochin, the Bard Cochin. We've got a black, Frizzle, we've got the other silky frizzle right there. Where's the red coaching disappeared somewhere? So we just added seven in today. We had our three others, so we had 10 plus the four Indio Gantes. So we've got 14 roosters in here and we still have too many roosters in with each flock. So we're gonna go over that, show you who's in each flock, talk about numbers, ratios, things like that on flock size. And then gonna see if this is gonna work out for us, at least for the time being. So what do you think about our roosters? They're a problem, but I don't know. Sometimes it's not even worth butchering them for the meat. So keeping them in here, maybe it's a good solution. Okay. Did she get in? Did she get in? She got in. So the Indio Gantes, we've got five hens over here, one rooster. I see we got an egg over here. I've been collecting them, the eggs for the time being. We might try a new hatching project with them soon. We had them laying over here. But as soon as I put this little coop up, they haven't gone in there. So there's seven eggs, but they're probably pretty old. We'll try to come up with some way to, to hatch out some more soon.
So over here at our main flock, we've got three roosters. Let me see how many hens we have now. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Hey, Amber. Hey, Amber. All right, Becky, so out here we've got three roosters. I think about 36 hens. We like that ratio? Yes, I would minus one though. He is a pain. So who are you talking about? The silver phoenix rooster is a problem. He always gets me when I'm not ready for him. He hides underneath this coop. I go to feed him and he goes goes after me. I don't know what the problem is, but usually your only defense is a bucket. Uh-huh. Go away! He's not doing anything. We got our two main roosters and they're they're still nice. So there's Manny, good leader of our flock. Alright, trying to catch Silver Phoenix here. We got him cornered. <laughs> she let him right through the legs. Got to get him back to a corner. He's over here. He's out. He's out. He's moving to the corner. There goes Johnny Cash. Okay, so he's got toes, you guys can see that. That spur is right there. That thing is an inch and a half long, almost two inches long. That's insane. That would hurt. All right, let's get this guy over to the rooster flock. We're gonna go ahead and put him in the coop. They might come out, but at least they'll know where they're going tonight. We'll probably still have to chase them in tonight, but we'll just try it out. So jump right out. I'm gonna face the wrath of the turkeys here. So this little coop, it holds maybe 10 chickens in it at night, which we have 14, 15 roosters in here now, but the Indio Gantes, they're huge. And so they sleep in with the turkeys right over here in, that, in this shelter. Oh, we gotta, we gotta, they're squaring off. These guys used to be together in the same main flock. So they will fight some, but with a lack of hens in here, usually there's nothing to fight over. So it's just for pecking order to know who's in charge of who. But usually they'll, once they work it out in a day or two, there's not gonna be too many problems. There's so many roosters we just had in here, seven, eight of them. So be a little bit of arguing, but once they realize there's no hens in here to fight over, usually they all just hang out together. Today's video is sponsored by Factor. It's lunchtime, so let's open it up and see what we got. Factor makes meeting your nutritional goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Our team of gourmet chefs creates each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. What do you got, Eli? I have sage chicken and butternut squash macaroni. With Factor, there is no prep and no mess. Factor cuts out stressful meal planning and extensive prepping, so meals come together in minutes, taking the guesswork out of what to make for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes, even faster than ordering in takeout. I got Peruvian shrimp bowl. And then we got our smoothies. I got tropical fruit and strawberry banana. All right, which one are you gonna drink? This one. Strawberry banana, all right. All right, we'll give you the Italian herb chicken, all right? All right, so this is the easy part because we, all we've got to do is heat it up in the microwave for a couple minutes. And so Uriah knows the drill. Just poke some holes in it with a fork and then we put it in the microwave for two minutes and then we let it cool off and then it's ready to eat that. In Factor supports wholesome eating made simple. Meal plans offer variety with a rotating weekly menu of 25 plus meal options and Factor plus add-ons. Choose your favorite meals or let Factor craft your order based on your taste preferences and meal history. You got a big meal, bud. You gonna be able to eat all that? Yes. That's Good. Making lunches is hard. When we're busy around the farm doing chores and doing school work. It's really good. Got, and dessert. You got a dessert under. So being able to come inside, warm up food, it is so convenient. Wow, look at these huge shrimp. Mm, it's delicious. Oh, this looks good. Really tasty. Got a little mm. spice kick to it, I love it. Drinks are great. All the kids love their food. Just head to go.factor75.com slash whitehouse130 and use the code whitehouse130 to get $130 off across six boxes. We'll hope you'll try out Factor the next time you get some meals. I'm making lunch. 
Got to do a big move for the turkeys today. Getting them to some fresh breads. So we, last thing we need to check, we moved over seven roosters today from the Bantam flock. We ended up getting a bunch of breeds that were straight run breeds, a lot of Cochins, Frizzles, the mill floors. And so we still have three, four, five roosters over here. We need to see what we have. And so we're eventually gonna have a lot of space out here. We're gonna have the, the peacocks, the pheasants, the mandarin ducks, all in the aviary once we get that done in about a month or two. What's going on here? Can you let her lay her egg? She's sitting on top of her. There's Poppy laying an egg. So how many male silky roosters do we have? So we have the brown one for sure. There's two roosters. We got a black frizzle rooster. And then we have zebra right here. These are silver seabright. I think potentially five roosters in here. We need to get it down to at least one out of here, if not two. Like the two frizzles. He's gonna pop back out. He, you got him. There you go, there you go, there you go. All right, we got him. There you go. So we got the two frizzles here. We got the white, you can barely see him right now white frizzle and the black frizzle check out this frizzle hen she is she's having some trouble there's a good chance some of this is a malt but she almost looks like a like a turkin like a naked neck so she she's more naked than feathered at this point and so you hope that through this malt or overbreeding that she will get all these feathers back in before it starts getting real cold this winter does he pretend to scratch or is he Acting like a bull, ready to charge. He gets real close to you, but he hasn't tacked any of us. All right, so let's take these over to the rooster flock. All right, we found him. So our red coach, and he snuck out right in when we put him in. And he's out here in the field. Joey, back this way. So Joey's helping. And so we need to get him back in with the roosters. Here you go. We'll put him in here in the coop. He had jumped out right away at the beginning. So the white and black frizzles are right there. There's the frizzle silky rooster. All right, so I think we have about 16 roosters in here now. It's a big flock of roosters. Anybody want one? Dolly look pregnant. She look a month away. All right, it's about 7.30 at night. It's actually almost pitch black. I'm able to boost the light a little bit with the camera, but I think we've got some roosters out of their area. Look, we've got the mill floor is over here with the Indio Gante. You are not where you're supposed to be. All right, there's one of our mill floor roosters. Let's get him over. We're gonna put him directly in the rooster coop. Ah, get it back in there. All right, closing the door on him. Okay, so we got a couple right there. We're gonna grab in a minute. Let's see if there's any more out here. All right, we got one on the ground, two, three, four, Five, plus our four Indio Agantes, plus our three turkeys. All right. All right, so we got these two out here. Shammy, one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Good job, Eli. All right, so we got our black frizzle here. Let me give you one. Okay. Oh, we got one out here. All right, we got one out here. Who do we got? Oh, couldn't even see. All right, in you go. All right, bud. You're going into... The rooster coop, your new home. Good night. Rooster coop is in full force. See you guys next time. What? What's going on with this tongue? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs>